What is the strangest unsolved mystery? The 169th victim of the Oklahoma City bombing. They found an additional leg in the rubble. DNA tests showed it belonged to another victim who had already been buried but with the wrong leg. The wrong leg had already been embalmed, so they could not get DNA at the time. So who did this leg belong to? All other legs had been accounted for in other victims. They found no other body parts, and nobody else had been reported missing. It was only until 2015 they could get DNA from the leg, but it's still classified as a John Doe. A few conspiracy theories had pop up like maybe a second bomber that got caught in the blast but it's still unknown. Asha Degree Lived in my town, sad face. In 2000, she walked out of her home willingly at age 9 in the middle of the night on Valentine's Day during a massive storm. She was sighted multiple times walking down an extremely rural and desolate highway by herself in the pouring rain and then was never seen again. Her book bag was discovered miles away buried in a trash bag a year later. Dardine Family Murders, NSFL A heavily pregnant mother and her son were found tied to the bed in their trailer home, they were beaten to death with a baseball that the son was gifted for Christmas. The beating was so severe that the mom's corpse went into labor and the assailant then turned the bat onto the newborn, bashing it to death. Suspicion fell immediately on the father, but half a day later his body was found discarded in a field, his penis had been severed and he was shot in the head. His blood-stained car was found abandoned at a police station. Did the Serbian farmer, Dord Martinovic, get injured from a bottle up his arse in a failed masturbation attempt or from an interrogation by two Albanian men? During May 1985, he was treated for injuries caused by the insertion of a bottle up his anus. Initially, he claimed that he was attacked by Albanians. While being interrogated, he stated that it was actually caused by him masturbating. The bizarre situation caused widespread controversy and contributed to worsening tensions between Kosovo's Serbs and Albanians. He eventually reverted back to his original story, that he was attacked. I want to know about Cicada 3301. Basically in 2012, an image was posted on 4chan saying, we are trying to find intelligent individuals for our organization. If you have what it takes the first clue is in this image. It was an incredibly elaborate puzzle, and solving the puzzle led to another puzzle. And another. And another. These puzzles ended up leading all around the world, in tons of different forms, including the internet, telephone, original music, bootable Linux CDs, digital images, physical paper signs, and pages of unpublished cryptic books written in runes. Who murdered Jaspal and Gita Singh in Syosset, New York in 2007? Joining the list of unsolved Syosset crimes, Jaspal and Gita Singh were killed in their Syosset home on Jan. 23, 2007. Their sons, 12 and 13 years old at the time, had just returned home from school when they found their parents shot to death. Police did not reveal too much information on the details of the case, however, the consensus was that these murders were not a random act and that the couple was most likely targeted. Unsolved Mysteries just released a podcast about this where the surviving son Unker discussed the case and urged for any tips to help solve his parents' murder. More info here, https colon slash slash unsolved. The Catman of Greenock. He's a peculiar, non-verbal man who crawls around on his stomach, is covered in dirt and survives through eating rats. There was reported sightings in the 70s and 80s. There was no hard evidence of his existence until someone recorded him on their phone during 2007. There's lots of mixed opinions on him. Some swear that they encountered him. Others are certain that the whole thing is just a myth. But, a fair amount of people think that there might have been an original one and the guy who was spotted more recently is an imposter, or, it was a myth but someone pretended to be him for a laugh. I'm sure this will get buried but it needs to be put out there. In January of 2000 in Asheville, North Carolina Zeb Quinn went missing and has never been found. Here, https colon slash slash all that's interesting. Com slash Zeb Quinn, is the whole story, but it never made any sense to me. See, I grew up with Zeb and knew him since elementary school. He was a kind kid, never got into fights, never saw him at parties in high school. 
In Alaska, the little coastal town of Seward, a two-hour drive south of Anchorage, is the place to be on Independence Day. The population on July 4 goes from something like 2,500 to more like 20,000. And the centerpiece of the Independence Day celebration is the race up and down the 3,020-foot and marathon. In 2012, 66-year-old first-time racer Michael Lemaitre ran up the mountain and